What's up Barrel and Blade fans? I've got August subscriptions. They just came in. Plus I've got an update on last month's missing knife of the month. So hang out for a few minutes and check this stuff out. Hey guys, Eric here from At Home in the Future and I'm back with another Barrel and Blade Super Unboxing. Two different subscriptions here. The regular kind of monthly box plus their Knife of the Month subscription. Quick update on this. If you watched last month's video, um, our knife just never came. UPS lost it and we've been trying to track it down ever since then. Uh, about a week ago, it finally showed up, the tracking notification and everything. It came up out of nowhere, made its way to our house and everything. But when I got it, it was literally just like the envelope and the subscription card for the month. Like no knife or anything. It's as if somebody tore open the package and took the knife out leaving just the card. So still trying to get with UPS and figure out what happened there. Uh, but if you want to know what it was last month, there's your knife of the month. It was a James Brand Wayland Sycamore edition worth 150 bucks. Hate that we missed that. But anyway, we do have a new knife to check out this month for August, but let's get started with the normal monthly box. So if you're unfamiliar with barrel and blade in general, really cool subscription. Uh, comes in two different flavors, a level one box and a level two. Level one's 50 bucks a month, level two's uh, 99 or 100 bucks a month. Uh, but a cool mix of prepping gear, tactical stuff, survival gear, all sorts of things. So anyway, if you want to get this subscription for yourself, you can follow the link on the screen or down in the description. But let's get this thing opened up and see what we got here. It feels like kind of a dense box. A few things moving around in there. And as always, typically no spoilers for these. So here we go. All right, interesting, back to packing material. They went for a long time without any sort of packing stuff, but we've got this kind of like natural fiber looking stuff. Might be good for a fire pit, so. All right, what do we got? Operation 86, Tactical Essentials, all right. Man, lots of stuff in this one. Looks like we got a bag, knife, a lantern, all right. You know, I'm gonna pull out all this stuff and we'll go through it together. By the way, here is the list of things there, level one on the right and level two here in the left. All right, let's get to it. All right, there we go. Great mix of stuff there. And I have to say, I'm seeing now why they didn't do the packing material before because it has <laughs> gotten all over the place. I'm covered in this stuff right now as I make this video. But anyway, we'll go through these items. Uh, starting at the top of the list here, we have the DDT Night Stalker Sling Bag worth $40. Lots of stuff from DDT, uh, I feel like, over the years in Barrel and Blade. Uh, this reminds me of, they have like a big tactical backpack we got once, and this kind of reminds me of a smaller version of that. Uh, I've got some kind of rubber um, grippy padding on the back. You can, you can see the foam insert in there. Um, it is definitely sling style. Big giant clasp on here. Um, so you can take it on and off that way or probably just size it where you can just um, slide over your shoulder and stuff like that. We've got some nice high vis pockets there on the inside where you can open it up and actually see what's in there versus those being all black. This one kind of opens up and hangs. You got slots for putting all sorts of things. Got some bungee cords on the front there. A little lockable zipper where you could slide a lock in there if you need it. Um, and then a pretty good size inside compartment there with lots of different pockets and dividers and stuff like that. Nice carry handle and everything. Let's see if there's anything um, extra special about that that we need to know. So yeah, molly webbing for attachments. And this is the back panel is actually for a two liter hydration bladder, which I'm not really sure how you'd fit. I don't know, that seems maybe a very small like camelback style hydration bladder. It does have a spot for that sort of stuff, but two liters seems a little uh, ambitious <laughs> for a bag this size. But these things are built super sturdy. If you're into this sort of sling bag, I think you'll dig that. Uh, moving right along, really popular item I've seen several times over the years from different subs and everything, but I think just because it's a cool item. So the Lucy Pack Lantern. Uh, you have a solar lantern here. Let's pop the seal. I feel like these are one of the cooler solar lantern models on the market here. Kind of a different approach here. So uh, goes down completely flat. You can see like the whole array of LEDs around it. And it's got a little, oh, this is USB-C. That's great to see. It has a USB-C charger here. So you can charge it that way or of course pop it in the sun and let it charge. Uh, but you inflate it. We'll kind of stretch it out here so you can see what it looks like inflated. I'm not gonna pass out by blowing this thing up. It does have a little handle and stuff too. But when you power it on, you get those LED lights, typically a few levels of brightness, yeah. Um, and you get kind of this cool lantern that can, packs down really small, uh, blows up pretty easy, and it's nice to be able to be at a campsite, throw this on a picnic table during the day, and then have um, pretty good light, ready to light up the campsite and throw in your tent at the end of the night. There's your charging port there. I think it's supposed to be generally waterproof. Yeah, waterproof and packable, and goes up to 65 lumens. So cool, those are great to have. Um, a great little emergency item too, especially with the hurricane stuff that's been going on um, in the U.S. the past few weeks. Can't have enough stuff like that, so good to have. Next up, from Cold Steel, the SRK Compact Knife, $54. 
Um, getting back in knives here, I feel like we've kind of gone a little bit without it. Let's open this up. We got a fixed blade. So here we go. We got a full on sheath. A uh, nice little belt loop attachment there and a few little points for different lashing and stuff like that. Kind of a rubberized grip. That's a secure <laughs> little button lock. We'll push it out and look, it's all greased up here, but we do have a really nice looking blade, really uh, thick kind of a ceramic, ruggedized ceramic coating. Um, kind of a clip point design there, nice choil, just a good all-arounder. More of a tactical design as far as fixed blades go. A lot of times uh, fixed blades, especially as I get in subscription boxes, tend to be more uh, outdoorsy or bushcrafting oriented. Not that you couldn't use this for that sort of thing, but um, obviously it's designed with more of a tactical use in mind. You can see how greasy it is <laughs> just look, by looking at that in the light. No jimping or anything in the back. Uh, but just depending on how you use your knives, you may go for that or not. It is very grippy though on the handle, which may be why they don't have that. Let's see if we know what kind of steel this is. Okay, so this is actually SK5 steel and it's using their black Tough X finish. Uh, so apparently used pretty commonly um, overseas in some combat operations and stuff. So I do like this. This is just actually in their standard box too. So if you got the level one this month, you'd also get this knife. Um, so pretty happy to see that. Very cool. And I think there's actually two different blades. So kind of skipping ahead there with SOG, we have a key knife for $12. Uh, this cool little thing, this type of stuff is actually a ton of fun. Let me see if I can get this terrible blister style packaging open here. All right, so I got it freed up from this little plastic prison there, but you have exactly what it sounds like, a little um, maybe kind of dinky little blade that goes into a key. So <laughs> I just noticed something. I actually haven't owned one of these before, but you would think just looking at it, it would look just like a key when it's folded up. It's got the little... Um, ridges and stuff there. It's a little lockback knife um, that basically falls closed. But once it's all closed up, that knife, it doesn't appear, unless I'm folding it down wrong, it doesn't appear to all the way fold down into the key line there, which kind of throws off the illusion. So even though it would go in your key ring, it would have maybe at a passing glance look like a key. You can still tell there's something else going on there, which is a little bit of a bummer. But as far as an interesting way to carry a knife or opening packages and stuff, you're not really going to use this for any sort of hard use thing. Um, it's got a nail nick open right there and does lock up and everything. So uh, kind of fun, pretty cool. In my mind, more of a um, just in case style item or almost a novelty more than anything else from SOG, but uh, pretty cool nonetheless. So we'll pop that down there and keep going. Two more things here. We've got a white Shamog, I think that's how you say it, worth $12. Um, so this is kind of scarf over here. Let's see if we can get this opened up. So as much as I've been like immersed in the prepping community and stuff over the years, the Shamog is actually something I've never picked up for myself. Um, even though they have just all sorts of different uses and stuff, it's really just like a giant scarf thing that has a thousand different ways you can use it. Really versatile, but it's not my style as far as like general wear goes. Um, good to have, useful in a lot of different situations and stuff, but unless it's like an emergency, which I guess is kind of the idea behind some of this stuff, you can keep it in your truck or something. Not something I wear all that much, but it does have a ton of use. A lot of guys in the military community really love these things. So it says, technically it's worn to protect against the harsh desert environment, but people say you can dip it in water and let it cool you, use it for sun protection, you can filter water with it, use it for fire tender, a tourniquet, and all those sorts of things. For me, I'll throw it in my emergency kits and stuff, but there you go. And last but not least, we have a dual bungee a rifle sling with the Duraflex buckles from Voodoo. Voodoo is something that, uh, again, we've seen a lot of here in Barrel and Blade and stuff. Um, exactly what you'd expect this to be, though. It kind of goes in line with last month's box, I feel like, which was uh, purely firearm style accessories and everything. But just a simple rifle sling, kind of stretches out and stuff. But if you're into that sort of gear, which is what a lot of people subscribe to Barrel and Blade for, uh, you may dig that. So there you go. I'm going to leave that all buttoned up for my gear drawer, but that is worth $15. And that is the end of this month's level two barrel and blade box for operation 86 that's a good box full of some really cool stuff love the blade love the sling and everything solar lantern shamog little key um a rifle sling lots of good stuff last month again i wasn't all that impressed more so just because i wasn't looking to outfit a shotgun that one was just exclusively shotgun themed so for this month i'm ha happy to return to the big mix of gear again if you want to get the subscription for yourself you can follow the link on the screen or down in the description but let's move on to this month's knife of the month here we go all right, Barrel and Blades, Knife of the Month Club. Man, that last box made a mess here on my unboxing setup and stuff. So, uh, Knife of the Month Club, really cool sub. If you're into knives or blades at all, whether it's pocket knives, big knives, all sorts of different things, a huge range of stuff comes to this subscription. It's 100 bucks a month, but they always promise a knife that's worth more than that. I feel like the lowest value knife I've gotten out of this was maybe worth like 120 bucks and stuff, which is still a great value. So you're still getting more than what you paid for. Again, if you want to get the subscription for yourself, you can follow the link on the screen or down in the description. Uh, but let's pop this one open and see what we got. It's nice to have 
this back in our unboxing after UPS losing last month's. So let's see, all right. Is it another cold steel? So we just got a cold steel in the main sub and now we're getting a knife of the month too. Whoa, okay, it's so the cold steel Espada, an MSRP of $229. So there we go, there's your value. Again, $99 a month subscription here. This is a large G10 Espada. Let me see if there's anything to know about it before we take a look at it. Collaboration between Andrew Demko, nice, and Lynn Thompson, inspired by the classical Navaja knives of Spain. All right, so it's got a patented Demko thumb plate, which is interesting. Aus 10A steel and a triad locking mechanism. So lots of different stuff going on with this. I'm not familiar with it. So let's take a look and see what we have to play with and add to the collection here. Definitely has some heft to it. Whoa, this thing is huge. <laughs> I don't know why, like just looking at it on the packaging, I didn't expect this large, but this thing is hysterically large. It's got a warning thing. It says the knife is extremely sharp. And right, take a look at that warning. I actually haven't seen a knife package like this before. All right, so they have to tell you up front because this thing is so huge not to use it for like batoning or crazy things like that. It's meant to be a folding knife. Uh, so there we go. It is giant. Look at this thing. Let's see. Oh gosh, I'm gonna use two hands to fold this out. That is a freaking monster. <laughs> so G10 scales, despite its size, because of the giant choil there, um, very, very comfy, very grippy, big. It's just like a typical lock back. They said like a triad locking mechanism. Maybe there's more to it than that. Gosh, I think even just shutting, put that, take your fingers off. Interesting kind of a clip point dip up design there. Big kind of a thumb stud unlock. Um, again, super comfortable, but this thing is wild. Now, are you gonna EDC this? Probably not. Look at that pocket clip, kind of crazy. It's gonna stick out of your pocket by about a mile and make you look like a psychopath. But this thing is surprisingly, you know what, very well balanced. And once it's opened up, it feels actually light for its size. I think all packaged up, it feels heavier. Um, but that is wild. Really cool treatment on the blade. I'm not sure if you can see, there's kind of like a stippling detail that I guess is part of the finishing process. It's nice, I said it's extremely, it is extremely sharp. Um, I gotta figure out a better way to test stuff. I need to go to the Doc P style of cutting money and stuff. But yeah, interesting thumb stud plate there. Made in Taiwan, interesting. So that is the kind of stuff you can expect in the Knife of the Month Club for sure. A uh, big wild blade to add to your collection. You may want to go nuts with this thing outside or you may want to just chill and keep it in your collection and show this bad boy off occasionally because it's very, very cool. Oh, by the way, it looks like the clip may actually be ambidextrous or no, they got another clip for the other side. I guess you can move it over if you want. Anyway, all right, so that's this month's Knife of the Month Club from Barrel and Blade. If you want to get the subscription for yourself, follow the link on the screen. I think you'll dig this thing. If you're into knives at all and want to build up your collection with knives you wouldn't normally probably have access to, this is an awesome way to do it. I think you'll really dig this up. All right, guys, and that's it for this month's Barrel and Blade Super Unboxing. If you dug this video, be sure to hit the like button because it helps the channel out a ton. And subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. See you guys next time.